Hello, my friends. Stephanie Bernard at the Stamps of Live, and guess what time it is? It is Kit Club time. I love doing these videos because not only do I get to show you all of our hard work, we usually like start working on these nine months ahead of time, but I get to make a card with this awesome kit. Now, if you're not in the Card Kit Club, we do have a limited amount of these left. So you'll need to sign up ASAP to make sure you get in on this kit. Once this kit is gone, it's gone forever, just saying. Also, it does include an A1 card base and, and it, this is, let me kind of just explain the card kit because it comes with everything you need to make at least 12 cards. Most people make way more than 12 cards because it comes with a paper pad, comes with all this awesome stuff. Let me back up just a little tiny bit though. Are you the type of person that you're like, okay, I want to make a card. You sit down and you're like, hmm, what should I do? And the first thing I always do when I'm going to make a card, I always pick my color palette. And if you are like me, you're thinking, okay, what kind of color should I use? Now, if you're like me, you're saying pink, of course, but you're like, what color should I use? Hmm. You look at your colors. You're not sure. You look at your color charts. You're not sure. You're just kind of not sure, right? If you were in the card kit club, we do all of that thinking for you. We do all of the prep work for you. We do all of the kitting for you. We do all of the color matching for you. Your only job is to create. That's all you have to worry about. You don't have to worry about what colors to use. You don't have to worry about, does this ribbon match this paper? Oh, does this match this? It's all done for you. And you just get to have the unstressful part of making cards and being creative. There's no stress involved, which is so nice. So that being said, let's check out this card kit. First things first, you've got to love the new box. Love the box. And you are going to get tons of cardstock. You're also going to get a handy dandy storage envelope that does have some colors in it. Long story why it's packed separate, don't even ask. So you're going to get three colors in here. And I'm going to tell you the color palette in just a sec. I'm going to show you the color palette first. Then we're going to open this one up. We're going to grab all of these out. Of course, you're going to get some powdered sugar, aka white. And then you're going to get all of these awesome colors. So this is for our cookies. Because if you're in our card, I'm sorry, if you're in our Stampin' Die Hard Club, you know this is going to coordinate with that. Not be the same, not be overlapped. It's going to coordinate perfectly. And look at those gorgeous colors. Now, of course, you get a handy dandy envelope to show you some ideas. You also get envelopes to mail your your cards. And let's look at the paper palettes, um, the paper pattern paper pad, say that five times fast, to give you an idea of what we're getting here. So the colors we're getting, chocolate, ginger snap, Pacific, blue jay, cranberry, cherry, grass, and orchid. Yes, I managed to throw in a little pink. Here we go. Look at our cute little guys. I absolutely love them. Ooh, oh, this is our holly. I'm sorry. This is our holiday icon die. Love it. Here's our cute little gumdrops. Oh, oh, what are those, my friends? If you're a die club member, if you're a die club member, you have all of the dies that match. You can die cut that ready to go, right? Look how fun that is. Then we have more, but wait, there's more. Now keep in mind, this, I call it paper. It's not paper. This is cardstock. Listen, this is one sheet. Printed in the USA, high quality cardstock, double sided. Here we go. Cute little guys dancing around. Oh, look at that icon. Look at those fun stripes. Look at these. She just look, I, every time I see her, she looks like she's dancing. I just love it. You can make your own snowman with the snow fun dies mini uh, mini gumdrops yum have a holly i'm sorry have a jolly holiday love it Ooh, some cute icing oh love that one wow that one's awesome then we have green stripes we have i call this i call this pattern the cheerios i do it's just in-house i call it the cheerios pad a uh, paper pad i mean cheerios pattern then we have have a holly jolly holiday i'm sorry have a jolly holiday small Love the black and white. Then we get to go all over again because we do the same ones all over. So you're getting two sheets of each. Also, just a heads up, 
we add extra of these to our website. So if you're a gold club member, meaning you are in, or diamond, if you're in all of them, but if you're a gold club member, including the kit club, you will be able to purchase more of these because you know what, one's sometimes not enough, just saying. Now, you're also getting a green seam binding, which is perfect, right? Because we need that. Then you're, that's a grass. Then you're getting the dies have a jolly holiday, which is so cute, right? Then you are getting oh, stickers. I love the little stickers. Oh my goodness, I covet the stickers. So you know what, sometimes I just don't use them because I love them too much. I love stickers. I love stickers. And I'll show you the die because it's too freakishly adorable. An A1 gingerbread card die. Fold it. Is it awesome or what? Let me just tell you. Oh my goodness. I absolutely positively love him with the cute little icing. We gave you a separate die for the icing. You get a little bow if you want and cute little items to add little candies to his body. So adorable. I'm going to probably use that one today. Then you're, there's still three more things, you guys. You're also getting epoxy matte color. I love the matte color. They're just so different. And you're getting little wooden candy canes. Oh my goodness, my little gingerbread guy is gonna hold a candy cane. So cute. And you're getting these cute felt holly leaves and berries. Absolutely love them. Now, guess what? Throw in that box over there for now. I get to make a card. But first, I'm gonna show you some samples. So here we go. Here is a cute little ginger, look how cute he is. You're getting the die to make this card. Yes, you are included in that set. Isn't that awesome? So cute. Write your little message. <gasps> or you can use him to decorate an A2 card. Look how cute that is. Love it. So adorable. Oh, you can make a card shaker. Look at this. Using our card front shaker bags. So easy. The easiest shaker you've ever made in your life. Love it. Love it. Love it. Oh, look how cute. All of those pattern papers layered. So awesome. So cute. Oh, and have a jolly holiday. You're getting that dice set as well. Here's another one with that little guy peeking out. Have a hol have a jolly holiday. So cute. We got our little candy canes. We got our little holly on there. I'm ready. I'm ready to make a card. We are going to jump in, move that all over, make me some room here, guys. We are going to get crazy. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna open this guy because I don't know what happened to my version, but mine is not here, so I get a new one. So we're gonna open this little guy up. Of course, we're gonna use him because I'm going crazy. And let's just tear it open. Doesn't even matter, right? Now, I always save the cards because then I'll know exactly when I put it in my envelopes, I'll know exactly what's inside. I'm gonna use the largest die in the set. On the back, it says place fold here, so I know exactly where to place the fold. I am, of course, gonna grab my ginger snap, and let's get that, and we are going to put that, we're gonna fold this cardstock, easy peasy, just like that. And this one's a nice thick cardstock. I'm gonna get a block and just really make sure I score that, just like that. Now, I'm going to get the largest die in the set. It tells me where to place the fold, so I'll know exactly where, to, where it goes. I'm gonna take that over to my machine, and I'm going to die cut this. So I'm going to grab a cutting pad, and I'm going to run that through, just like that. See that little guy? Look at him, he's so cute. Now, I'm going through two pieces of thick cardstock, right? That ginger snap is very thick. I'm gonna bring it over here, so I have my card base, right? But you're saying, Stephanie, his head looks funny. Don't worry, my friends, never fear. I'm gonna open up this and I'm gonna die cut another one by itself, just a regular die cut. So now this card base is gonna be A1 in size. It will fit in an A1 envelope, which is awesome because sometimes you just want that little smaller size. If you're unfamiliar with A1, A1 is like what you would maybe call invitation size. It is a little smaller than the normal A2, but it's awesome. Now, I have enough space on my cardstock. Look at this, I'm making a full card with just using this one. And I'm gonna kind of be a little smart about this, try to conserve. We're gonna run this through just like this. This is the second die. This is a little bit smaller than the first. This is a little bit smaller than the shadow. So we're gonna run this through just like that. And there we go. Dun, 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 dun. 
Look at our cute little guy. Now, we have our little guy. We are gonna get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is, you know me, I am going to get a little bit of inking out because I need to. <laughs> and I'm just gonna grab some Ginger Snap ink, ink that up, and we're just gonna go around the edges just to give him a little bit of extra, you know, depth because I'm gonna put him onto Ginger Snap. I could have also used uh, white or I could have used for the base. I could have also used, uh, uh, ooh, that got a little dark. Um, I could have also used chocolate or anything like that. Now, technically some people might say, oh, she made a mistake, she did too much on that side. You know what? I can easily fix that. I can just go a lot more on all of the sides. Watch this. We're just gonna go a little bit more on all of the edges to really give this guy kind of almost like an extra cooked look, right? An overdone cookie. So we're just gonna smear that around. Let's get a little bit more over here. Smear that around. There we go. Now he looks so yummy, doesn't he? We're gonna close that up. We are gonna bring this over here to our card base. Now what we have here, here's our main card base, right? This is the foundation. That's what we're gonna put on top. See, now you can see that this was technically the same color, right? Same color, same piece of cardstock. But now with the ink on top, it looks so different, which is awesome, right? We're gonna add some adhesive. Now, this die comes with, this set comes with two little tiny eyes that you can die cut separately and add to your card. However, I tend to just grab a black pen because sometimes I'm a little busy or even a dark brown pen. Here's a dark brown pen. And I'm just gonna color in those eyes. Look at this. Boom. That saved me three minutes, huh? Boom. Now I could die cut that and add them on, but look, just as good, right? And that was much faster. So now we are going to decorate this little guy. I have the little icing, of course I have to use that. And I'm gonna be a little sneaky. I'm going to use some white. I'm grabbing my scraps that have adhesive on the back. I'm looking for white, looking for white. Where, there it is. And do I have any glitter in here? Glitter, glitter, I need glitter. Nope, not in that one. Let's look in the one that's marked glitter. Ooh, there's some white. So here I have my scraps. These all have adhesive on the back. So these are my special scraps. My regular scraps go in here, color coded, but these are special because they have adhesive on the back. Although this feels very thin. I almost don't feel like this has adhesive on the back. Let's test this. That does not, it's in the wrong spot. So let's grab a new one. Let's grab, I'll show you how I do this. This is an adhesive sheet and we are going to grab some white glitter paper. Here's some gl white glitter paper, adhesive sheet. We're going to peel off, it says peel here, peel that off. And we're gonna put this on the back, put this on the back. Now this entire sheet of sticker paper is a sticker. I called it sticker paper, it's not. Now it is though. I'm gonna take those little icing pieces. I'm gonna lay this down, get my scraps out of here. Lay this down and I'm going to die cut this. So I'm gonna lay that down and I'm gonna run it through. Fast and easy, so I'm just gonna go once and back because that'll be faster. So I'm gonna go that and I'm gonna go back. Did I have to? No, but it's faster. Now I'm gonna bring this over and now I have my cute little icing. I'm gonna grab my little tweezers and I'm gonna pop this out. Here we go. So these are the perfect pokey tool. Pop that out, grab it. And now remember, it has the adhesive on the back. I'm gonna pop that out, grab it. Sometimes these will come out on their own. Sometimes you'll need to poke it. You never know. You never know. There we go. Now, we are gonna grab these and we are going to add these to these little frosting pieces to our gingerbread guy. And we're gonna add that one right there. Look how cute that is. Makes me hungry. I don't know about you, but this makes me hungry when I'm looking at this little guy. Then I'm gonna grab this one. Well, maybe this one. On camera, it always takes longer because you're like going, hurry, 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 in your mind. There we go, we're gonna add that one there. And then we're gonna add these two here. And our guy is pretty much done, but I have another extra thing I wanna do. So I'm gonna add this one here just like that. And then last but not least, this last one. So see how easy it is with the adhesive on the back? I just peel it and now it's a sticker and I add it down. Boom, 
ready. Now, what I wanna do is we, oh, we could use, oh my goodness gracious. This is gonna be the perfect little buttons for him. And what color do I want to use? I'm actually gonna use the little browns. So we're gonna add one, look how sweet that is. Two, they look like little candy dots, huh? Three, just like that. Then, I'm not sure, let's see. Oh, I did want to use this, because I'm going to go old school a little bit here, and we are going to grab this. This is an A1 single scallop die. This was in one of our kits at one time, so if you are in our kit club, you already have this die chances. And let's grab a brown. We're gonna use brown. Now you're saying, Stephanie, brown is not really a good color for a card base because how are you gonna write your message? Oh, just wait, just wait. Oh, let's do it this way. Just wait, I have a trick for you. Just wait, we're gonna run this through. So again, this is an A1 card base. This actually came with one of our kits in the past. It might be available on our website now if you don't have it. We're gonna fold that in half, easy peasy. Then we are going to get a couple things. Number one, we are gonna get this die right here. And you know what? We haven't even used our paper pad yet, my goodness. Let's see what we have in here. I want to find a very, 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 very light. Uh, ooh, that blue is calling my name. So we're gonna use this one. This is gonna be the back of my card, just like that. And then I'm actually thinking I might want to grab, you know what, I'm not, oh, what's, uh, nah, 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 we're just gonna do this one. So we're gonna lay that down. That is not, that's a random pattern, so I don't have to make sure it's straight. And we're just gonna run that through. So that's where I'm gonna do my message so I can still see it. Now, let's bring everything together and see what we have here first. We're gonna add this to the inside of our card, the inside. So now I can write my message, right? And everybody will be able to see it. And then on this, I'm gonna add my cute little guy. So I was gonna make him a card. I was gonna make him a card. All I'd have to do is glue that on and make it a card. I could still make it a card by putting it on, on here. I'm just gonna make him solid. So I'm gonna put this right here. And I know you're thinking, Stephanie, that looks really just brown. But watch this. We are going to check out all of our embellishments. We have green ribbon, we have the candy canes. Let's look at all of this. And let's say we are gonna add some greenery here. Let's grab this. And I'm going to add a cute little bow, not bow, but oh, well, let's see. You know what, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna add it right there. So I'm gonna add a little bit of adhesive. Actually, let's use score tape, because that's faster. So we're gonna grab a little bit of adhesive. What I do with the score tape is I just peel it off and I make it like a little glue dot. And then I can just add that to the back of the felt. And that's gonna be ready to go. There we go. And just trim that, there we go. And we're gonna add that to the little guy. Let's add adhesive to the back of him. I'm gonna add adhesive. And then, look how cute this is. And then, to finish it off, fits perfectly, uh, I'm gonna do a couple gumdrops at the bottom. These are so cute. A couple gumdrops. And let's just do, because I wanna add some color. So I wanna grab one. We're just gonna have them like dancing in the gumdrops. Two, three. There we go, three gumdrops. I could do four, but we'll do three. Three gumdrops, and then we're looking at this and we're saying, you know what? It needs a little tiny bit more color. We are gonna go crazy, and we're gonna grab the candy cane in the kit from the gingerbread, and I'm thinking if he holds that candy cane right there, I am good to go. But I might have to turn it this way so it fits. So let's grab this. Let's grab some red that has adhesive on the back. Ooh, glitter, glitter, glitter. Again, this has adhesive on the back. We're gonna grab this. And then we're just gonna grab some white. And I think I already, no, I did not die cut white yet. So let's get some, why? We could use the glitter again. We're, oh, here, let's use this one. There we go. See, sometimes Stephanie talks a lot to herself. Imagine being Ken all the times I talk to myself. And then we are going to run this through. 
Now, the red has adhesive on the back, so I'm halfway there making my candy cane. This is a very large size candy cane. It's really fun. It's normally I designed it for the five by seven um, gingerbread house, but this is gonna be perfect with our big gingerbread guy here. I'm gonna peel off the back, because remember this is all adhesive. Ooh, 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 there we go, come on. And glitter paper tends to stick to itself a little bit, so you're just gonna peel off the extra pieces. And we're gonna get those, so that's gonna take a second. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. It's cut, don't worry, it's cut. It's just, it has that extra material that makes it wanna stick. It's like the glue on the glitter or something. There we go, there we go. Look at this candy cane, you guys. Look at how cute this is. There we go. So that's glitter, glitter, double glitter. And we're gonna add this, right? Hang on, look at this, you guys. Going, going crazy, going crazy. I'm gonna move that over there and I'm gonna add this right here. Look how cute that is. Okay, so we're gonna add this right on top and don't cover his face there we go and then to finish this off last but not least we're going to grab some of our stamps and let's see what we want to say uh, oh this is perfect this is perfect this is perfect so if you don't necessarily need a christmas card but you want a card to send in the winter time this is the card you're going to use this, I mean, this is the stamp you're going to use. Let's grab some black. And I usually stamp in black, you guys, when it's a phrase. I just, I don't know why. It's just kind of a habit. I could have used chocolate if I wanted to. I'm going to stamp first on scratch. There we go. I'm going to stamp this on the inside. I'll read it to you in just a second. I'm going to stamp that right there on the outside. And boom, we are done. I do need to eat, add a personalized stamp, but I'll do that in white. And that will take a time a second to dry. Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Look at our cute little guy. Oh my goodness gracious. So yummy. Open that up. Thank you for being such a sweet friend. Isn't that adorable? So it's not a Christmas card. It's a card you would send near Christmas to someone that you wanted to send a card to. I absolutely love it. Card Kit Club members, Card Kit Club members. Woo. Your kits are on their way to you. You're gonna have so much fun with these. Again, we have a limited amount of these kits left. Once they're gone, they're gone forever. So make sure you get in on it, including that cute little A1 card base. Thanks so much. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.
so much for watching this video. You know what? If you would like to see more inspiration, I need you to click that little button there. If you want to visit our website, click right here. And if you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel, make sure you click right here because you know what? You're not going to want to miss a thing. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.